Hey guys, it's Ryan here. I hope you're all safe, healthy, and having a great day. I know this is not one of my usual videos, but I wanted to make this video because I was really having a problem with it and it took a while to figure out. So I wanted to just make this video. So hopefully if people find it in the future, it'll help them out as well. So I have one of these ancient machines. It's a Kindle keyboard. It's one of the older versions of the Kindle. I think this one in particular came out in 2010. Now, apparently in 2012 or something, there was an update where you had to update the Kindle wirelessly by a certain date. And if you didn't do that, your Kindle will forever be locked out from being able to do that. And you're gonna have to do the software updates manually from that point on. So essentially this Kindle missed that deadline and I had to look for ways to update it manually. So of course the first thing I did was I went on Google and then I clicked Amazon Kindle keyboard uh, software update manual and it took me to this page and I looked at the serial number on my Kindle which you can find under the settings and I found my version, which is just so happens to be this one. And I tried following these instru instructions to download the software update and manually update the Kindle. However, when I would do that, it would download this .bin file. And whenever I try to open it on my Mac computer right here, it would say the file is either corrupt or it is not supported. So of course I unplugged that, tried it over here on the Windows, and of course that didn't work as well. It gave, pretty much gave me the same message. So of course I went back on Google and another website directed me to this app. It's called Stuff It Expander. Apparently it's able to help um, open files that your computer can't normally open by itself. So of course I download it, it gives you this tiny little icon over there and what you're supposed to do is just drag and drop the file into that stuff it icon and it's supposed to spit back a readable file to your computer. However, after doing that, it didn't work and so I went back to Google. Eventually I stumbled across the Amazon Contact Us customer service link and I chatted with a live representative and they were actually able to help me out. All right, so now I pretty much am just gonna walk you through the steps I took to update this Kindle for that first version you're supposed to do on the bottom, uh, 3.1. You're supposed to download each of those updates one by one until you get to the newest version at the top. Uh, just because this Kindle is so old and that's just how you got to do it from now on apparently. I'm just going to walk through the second level of the update. So we're just going to click download and we see it is downloading over here in the corner. All right, so once the file is downloaded, it should appear here in your downloads folder. All you have to do is drag this into your Kindle. So obviously your Kindle needs to be manually connected to your computer with a micro USB. And when you drag and drop it in here, you have to safely eject the Kindle like so. After that, your Kindle should resume in the settings view. And from here, all we need to do is click. Um... Okay, well, the person told me to click restart, but this has an update your Kindle option. So maybe we'll try this one. If not, I'm just gonna do the restart thing. Okay, well, apparently that option has worked this time because clicking the option to click the update uh, Kindle button was not available last time. Um, the only option was to restart, but apparently the software uh, is updating and that's how you do it. So, and so I'm not sure why, but it took me a really long time to figure out how to do this because there, was, there wasn't any clear instructions that I found on Google and all the update related Kindle videos that I found on YouTube were for newer versions of the Kindle. So if you happen to still have a really ancient old Kindle that needs software updates, I hope this video was able to help you. Again, that's not my usual content. I just want to make this video because I had a problem and I hope some of you who have the same problem will be able to solve your problem with this video. Other than that, if you found this video useful, please feel free to subscribe, leave me a comment down below. And uh, I'm not really sure what I'm doing with this channel yet. I'm probably just gonna keep doing some random life updates on here. If you're interested in learning Japanese though, I have another channel, it's called Practical Japanese. You can go check that out. And of course, if you're interested in yo-yoing, I do have another uh, YouTube channel just for yo-yo tutorials as well. So if you wanna learn how to yo-yo, uh, there's a channel called Toshiyo Tokyo for that. I'll put the links uh, for both of those in the description of this video. Other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all the support and 
Stay safe, stay healthy. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, bye.